Hey, uh, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number four of The Medium. We are in hell itself, I guess. Oh. And we need to cut through some more skin. Oh god. It's so gross. Uh, what Richard. did what did Miriam? Well, what did? Are you there? What did sadness want me to see? What's going on over here? What is this? A sheet of music. Well, <coughs> at least part of it. Interesting. Hmm. I guess we need to find all the sheets of music. checking the outside edges. Oh, who's this? Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and, com depth and complexity of his imagination, mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave. The way he described them with every minute detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of your, of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my wanting creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste, that would be an unforgivable sin. Hmm. Thomas, huh? God. Oh, what the hell is that? It's an IV. Here we go. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? And then stab him to death. This is what you shall do. You shall stab him to death. Mm, it's checking around the outside edges. There we go. I remember the first time I met him. Working a simple factory job. Still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising of what had, he'd gone through in the years that followed. He did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. As my voice, like, begins to run out of breath. Dude, I don't know which way to go, man. Oh, there's another thing here. Oh, it's on the front. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Huh? Hmm. There's something else there. Hang on. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter, and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually I wore him down, he agreed to enter the university, building on the condition that it would be his chosen field, and so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first I was rather sceptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence, but deep inside I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life, and then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. I think his inner demons got the best of him. Alright, well, we gotta pick a direction now. Um, I don't really know where to go first. I guess we'll go in here first. Oh, this place is packed with memories. 
memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. It seems like it. Holy crap, the reading. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously it is as he described the indescribable. For a while I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood he sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. This game is the reading simulator of 2021. Focus on the spirit world. There's a sense of loneliness coming from I mean, that globe is made of, like, skin. Incomplete. Incomplete, so I guess we got to find something that completes it. Wait, what's this? There's something there. that I can't seem to access. It's right there, I can see it on the other screen. Can I go through here? Nope. Oh, there's a chair. Ah! We're missing one more piece of sheet music. Wonder if it'll be through Oh, I can't I can't go out there. I don't have any any spirity power. So I have to do something in here to get spirit. There's got to be another piece of sheet music or something around that will uh, lead me to more, will lead me to a way to gain something. I mean, we already looked at this, didn't we? We did. Another piece of sheet music anywhere? This goes back here. I don't think I can gain anything from being out there. That's just the way we came in. Hmm. Oh, we can go through here. Uh. Oh, not for spirit, lady. Oh, there's our globe piece. Is there anything else in here? We can grab. Is there another piece of sheet music in here by chance or anything? There is. It's right there, but I can't touch it. So I need the sheet music, which hopefully I get from the globe. If I get a key or something to that door by using the globe. And then we can get another piece of sheet music, which will give us spirit. to move up.
There we go, we got it. Oh god, what the hell is this? Another junction. Maybe it can show me a way out of here. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Means we can touch whatever's here, I think. Taken away. Interesting. That opens this to us. Aha, spirit well. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Or at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts they're always there aren't they you're a very smart girl Lily you know that don't you you're special her voice is that sadness I think it might be all right we need to try and find one more piece of sheet music aha uh -huh. Teacher's room key. I'm hoping that's where the last piece of sheet music is. Let's do this. Cut through this skin. Oh god, that's so horrible and disgusting. Alright, this goes back out here. So now we can go over to the teacher's office. Last piece of sheet music, hopefully is here. Yes. Who's this? Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous and no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found pure, true happiness. True love, strong and pure, well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I had ever had. Hmm... So, that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Record? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. Hmm. Yep. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here? I wonder who he meant by them. Hmm. Getting pretty lost in this. Pretty lost in all this. Um, I want to see if there's anything else I can get from this area. I'm still not sure. Oh, 
Actually, I've got the sheet music now. That allows me to get the power. Alright, good, good, good. So that's exactly what I thought it was. It would give me power. Um... I think that's all we can get out of this, right? Just open the door back up, I guess. Make sure we can get through. And then we go out in here. And down in the hell itself. The hell's down here. Apart from just creepy shit. Got a painting. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily. You remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm getting creeped out by him too, don't worry. Nothing back there. Anything here was... what we already saw. I mean, that, that still has... a trail to that. Or does the trail go over here? Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. You mean like he's a pedophile? You don't say. Wouldn't notice that or anything. That he seems a bit creepy. No! I didn't mean to... Oh God! What have I done? He either did something he shouldn't have sexually, I assume, or uh. killed her. What the fuck? Hmm. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> But what? The child eater. Oh, Jesus, you experienced your first vision of Thomas. Where is it? Where is it? God fucking damn it!
it's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! Finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise! Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on! Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here. Somewhere. Oh, well, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Do you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Damn. Whoa. The plan is him?
Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! <laughs> I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Uh, 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 no uh, chance here. Knowing uh, what she means to me. Uh, Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. Not you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in! What the fuck is going on? Investigate the de what? The hell? All right, Richard. Free Richard from this his demons. World. Show me what you're hiding. Some horrible shit it looks like. Is this where it started, Richard? What the fuck? The that broke you. Made you what you are. What the hell? You feel it, Thomas. There's something here. It awoke on that day when she came to it. It took over. Made itself at home. You think? What the fuck is going on? What did he do? Did he kill her or did he just... Well, not just, but you know what I mean. Did he go the other way? Loss. Hatred. Grief. This place reeks of them. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! When he was a kid. No! Leave her alone! Ugly secret. The sum of all his demons. What the fuck, bro? Oh, well, we're gonna need this. Father's not. Richard, you, you better go and bring it to him. All right, I'll play along. 
for now. Ready to go bring him his knife? Okay. I feel something's not right. What Father, the? you forgot your knife. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. What the hell is going on? Why don't you keep it? But it's your lucky knife. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! But where are you going? The army is heading out west. And I'll be going with them. But... No! I don't want you to go! I don't want to go either, son. But sometimes, what we want isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. So is his father leaving the thing that set him off? I'm confused. What the fuck is going on in here? By the sweat of your brow. Hmm. That can't be the only thing that's in here, right? We work what? Aha. You shall rise and you shall fall. Military medals. Till you return to the earth from which you came. What the fuck? Those tentacles are guarding something. We need to get rid of them. Spirit blast. I need a spirit blast. How am I gonna get a spirit blast? I don't think I can get one from here. Hmm. Can I even leave this room? It doesn't look like I can even leave this room. It just does that. Interesting. I need something that will give me a spirit blast. Is there anything else on this table that I can pick up? It doesn't look. Oh, wait, the pipe. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Hmm. There we go. As government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant Thaddeus Zakowski. He whose loss you mourn died in the noblest of causes. His country will forever be grateful for the sacrifice he made in protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Affairs. Oh, shit. You can indeed. His dad died. So bright. Okay, it's a little bit more, um, less, it's hey, less Richard. dark. 
Hey, Richard. Bet you can't catch me. What? Hey, wait up. Come on, Slowpoke. Does it have to be a maze? For God's sake, please don't let it be a maze. I hate this. was a girl when he was young who he loved very much what the hell happened to her but what is it it's um, something very important promise me you'll keep it safe okay go from here John I did where do we go from here I guess we go back out of here back down the overgrown hallway back out in here Sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Oh no. Where is this going? Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Great. All these books are like frozen over. Free Richard of his demons. Is it that thing? Oh, what? You want a bedtime story? I'm not your goddamn mother. Man, what a fucking asshole. There's a wedding photo. Do I want to know what this tells me? Why the hell would I want that? You miss your daddy. Well, he ain't here. Real fucking charmer, that one. Jesus, what the hell happened to this kid? Empty bottle. We're just gonna keep bringing things to him one by one, I guess, until he finds what he wants. Oh, you little shit. Uh oh. I'll teach you some respect. Alright. 
Oh, he broke the chair. I don't know whether there's a certain amount of times I need to parry this guy. What the hell did you do to me? Is it back? Or I'll cut you again. Ungrateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. Glad. Jesus, what the hell happened to this fucking kid, man? Get away from me, you bastard! No! No! Now hold on, mommy! Hold on, mommy! Fucking horrible. It's all your fault. You can't so Richard's blaming himself. Forever. Oh, where the hell are we now? This place again. But not the same time. Richard! Hmm. Richard doesn't seem to be here. Oh, what the hell is this? I should be going. I'm sorry. It's alright, Rose. We can finish some other time. Well, that's what Rose looked like. Richard, where are you? H Hello? I'm trying to wrap my head around this story. I can go this way. I think this just loops me back, Richard, though. Richard, come out! This is very confusing. What is this? Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. Hmm. This isn't funny. Did he kill her? Richard! Or let her die in some way? And that's why he has Here such issues? Are. Oh. oh. Maybe you should, uh, talk sure to her. All right? I said I'm fine! Oh, hey. Jesus. If something happened, you can tell me. It's like the world's slowest jog, by the way. Get the hell away from me! Oh, Jesus. Richard. Okay, Richard. I get the picture. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. Do you get the picture? There's got to be something more to it than that, right? Like, as, as horrible as that is, Mommy? in and of itself. What's going on? Shh, shh, listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. But why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. Oh, no. <sighs> gonna get him killed the hell is this no it's to stay away from me it's to stay back get away from me you bastards no no let go of me no please 
Please don't! Did they kill him or something more sinister than that? Any son of Poland who collaborates with the oppressor. Collaborator. Who steals from, denounces, or otherwise acts against his compatriots. First house on the left right next to the river with the old cherry tree in front. They're hiding them in the pantry under the floorboard, so they let them out sometimes to stretch out, usually later in the day. Some of them even get out sometimes. Probably looking for food, best to come at night. What? <laughs> Commits an unforgivable crime against the motherland. Oh. Swiftly punished. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. They hung him? I guess? Oh my god, now sucking him into another world. Wow, this maze is really overgrown now. You took her from Rose! Where are you? I'm sorry. I pushed the wrong button. All these tentacles trying to mess me up. Wow, we're running a lot faster now. They took her from There we go. Got it that time, well. She's gone! Gross? No, no, no! Please wake up! Wake up! Why? Oh wait. It's a dead end. Son of a bitch. I don't know whether she just died or whether someone killed her. I am very confused about what's going on here. God damn it, now I'm stuck in this freaking maze. more of these tentacles. I seem to be able to have this ability without... Oh, what the fuck? So, my brain is just... My precious little flower. What the fuck is going on? I... Lily?
like a boss battle or something to free him from his demons is that what we're doing here looking like it right let's get this over with what the fuck am i supposed to do I've got a spirit well in the middle. Spirit blast it. Oh! First, Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> it's here. Thomas? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life, the warmth of my soul. Your soul has brought it away. There's barely anything left. And now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. I am, but I, you ripped me apart. You burned me down and left me in the dark. It's a fiend, a monster. Man. 
Thomas. What is he? It's the one who butchers the soul. The one who breaks it. But you... Yes. I know you. You can set me free. I can feel it. Please, do it. You don't deserve it. You deserve nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Then give it to me. Please. Do not exist. That's all I want. So be it. Judge, I'm just the fairy man. Be gone, Richard. I sent the child eater away. It wasn't just a feeling. It was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? And then, something clicked. That girl, it's me. But it looks like it was taken here, at Neva. Feel it out there, like it's calling out to me. There, in the woods. Holy crap. That was a lot to take in, no doubt. So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more of the medium in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.